Okay, we're on part three. I did a little bit of sleuthing and found that the event center and the fairgrounds identify themselves as being the same place. Um, and then I also found an event on November 10th at the Kelso Bridge Market Christmas Bazaar, which is at the listed as being at the fairgrounds. And look who the profile picture is. A little bit of more sleuthing found that this was from 2014, but I'm guessing that this is the venue um, that you're going to be in for that. So guess whose picture I'm going to steal. We're just going to, actually, I think we probably have this in your site already, but I'm going to uh, steal it for use here at the Cowlitz Fairgrounds. And you can have me change that at your pleasure. Back over here, I'm going to click on the gear for the image or the image itself. Again, I can click on the gear or the image itself. And I'm going to upload a file, select, rather than drag. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Wait for that blue bar to pop. This is the hardest part, I think, right there. And I'm going to call it Cowlitz County Fairgrounds Author Sign. Ooh, how about if we spell that right? Author Sign with Jan Bono, which is really very long for that purpose, by the way. Um, here I'm just going to put in the space. Uh, it's very long for that, but you know, we throw it in once in a while. And here, um, recall that we stole an image that was linked to the museum, so I'm going to get rid of that link. And now we have a picture without a link, which is what I wanted. And since that is all better than the past, I'm going to go ahead and have that save to the homepage. Trying not to go too fast or too slow here. I'm going faster than I normally would in one of these tutorials, but um, mainly that's because there's a lot of repetition and uh, also because um, I'm on your nickel, and I don't want to take any longer than I have to. You're a smart lady. You can you can go back and forth in the YouTube. Clicking on the gear shift. I call it a shift. It's a wheel. This is at the Grays Harbor Fairgrounds. Seeing no other descriptions, I'm going to leave it at meet the author. This is on Saturday, November 23rd. But this is all not right. So that's going to be at 32 Alma McCleary Road, all spelled out. Shift return for that soft return. That's in Alma, Washington from 10, uh, 9 to 5. Now here's a conundrum. Do I do two events here, one's the 23rd and the 24th, and they have different hours, or do I make them one event? I'm going to make them one event, and here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it's the 23rd and the 24th. Ugh. I'm going to have to do Saturday and Sunday. It's too much. I'm going to make them one event. Um, here's why I didn't want to write Saturday and Sunday, 23rd and 24th, and then have two sets of hours. It's too many changes. So we're just going to leave that on Saturday only. We're at the Grace Harbor Fairgrounds. Back to Google. Get out of Cowlitz and say... Grays Harbor Fairgrounds, which hopefully will be nicer to us. That's not a bad picture, because I imagine that's what it looks like when you get there. I'm hopeful to have something show up that looks a little bit like a book fair, maybe, or some kind of interior similar type event. Um, seeing none in the quick answer, I'm about to give up that search. I just I always want to make a good decision for my customers, my clients here, and I don't want to waste any of your time. Um, so I, I think with you what I'm going to do is you know make the decision that I'm going to do it this way and then tell you that so that you can tell me or go behind me your uh, pleasure to fix it. So is this picture useful? Do, 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 do. My guess is you're going to be in here. It's pointing to these things. Not particularly helpful. Evergreen. This is also Grace. 
is this Grays Harbor Fairgrounds? Yes, it looks like the same place. Let's see that a little bigger and see if it's useful. Do, 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 do. I'm guessing that you're in the pavilion, but if I use this map, we're going to have to know where you are so we can tell the good people where you are. Which, in my mind, oh, that's Grant County, it doesn't matter. That would be the thing to do, is use a map and tell people where, where you are. But, um, yeah, it's not going to work here. What's this? <laughs> we are at Grays Harbor, but we are at the Stradline RV Park, not at the Fairgrounds. So, I'm going to go back to where I started and quit wasting your time. I'm going to view that image and then save that image, making sure it's a JPEG and not one of those WBP. Grays Harbor Fairgrounds. Grays Harbor County Fair. That's a pretty good indication that it is, in fact, the Grays Harbor Fairgrounds. Click your picture. Click the wheel. Click the picture or the wheel. Upload files. Select. I believe I started that with a GR. Did I not start it with a GR? Oh, there it is. I'm just ahead of myself. Waiting for that blue bar to pop. Grays Harbor. Is there really an apostrophe in there? That's what it says on your Word document. But I'm going to leave that as B. I'm not going to link to anything because I didn't find anything particularly useful. I'm just going to verify real quick. No link. Good. And save to the world at large to the front end of the site because, again, what's there is better than what was there. And while that's saving, I'm looking at the Word document and just triple checking everything is correct. The wheel stops spinning here. I know that's done saving. I can go up here and clone this one. This is going to next one will be really quick because it has minor changes. We are on Sunday, the 24th, and we have different hours, 10 to 3. Save that. And click the save down here to push it to the World Wide Web at large. Okay. Looks like our next one over here is at Fantasy Ocean Shores Convention Center. So since we don't have any events to that convention center, I'll just clone this one. That way it lands in exactly the place I want it to be. Click the gear, title, and paste. Now I'm going to pull up a Google window and search for the exact same thing. See if we can get a picture. So fantasy is a craft show and other things, I see, or so it appears. Um, I don't want it to look like that in your picture, however. Do, 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 do. I feel like we're going down the wrong, the farther we get from the top of that, I feel like we're getting to the wrong end of it. So, um... Crafts Festival, Crafts Festival, Condo. How about just the Ocean Shores Convention Center? I want a compelling picture, not just a picture. I want a picture that says, look at me, come find out more. That's kind of a nice uh, entry to the convention center. It looks suspiciously like Seaside's convention center in that picture, however. This one might be a better picture, but Northwest News, I know, is going to have copyright issues. Don't know if 
Grace Harbor Talkwood or not. That's worth exploring. And TripAdvisor is typically customer presented. So if we find something there, that would be likely okay to use. But it doesn't look like there's anything there that's particularly compelling for your event. Um, Yeah, I'm not seeing anything better. So let's go look at this image first. Um, that was at Grace Harbor Talk. I wanted to get a better sense of what that's about and whether or not they're going to like us using what they do. And that looks like another online magazine or newspaper, which means they're in the business of getting traffic back to their website. I'm not comfortable taking one of their pictures without permission. Clicking on this one, this is the convention center. So just getting people to them is, is a good use of, of their facility pictures. So let's go see if they have any better ones than the one we started with. Doesn't look like they particularly do. How about location? Have any videos on your site? That could be fun. It does kind of give a context to the whole thing. Okay, now we're in the part where um, don't <laughs> don't do what I do. I'm just gonna take a look and see if it would be very easy to steal that video. That should be right in there. And yes. Do, 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 do. This is the one I'm going to want to. You're just going to keep sending me in a loop, are you? Well, then go back. I want this here link. Copy that. Paste it up there. Creating a video on YouTube. Okay, now you can start paying attention again because this is the part you could actually do this if you wanted to. You just click on the share. When you're watching any YouTube video, you can click on share. And it's going to give you options. You could just copy the address. Embed is the option I like. Um, because what it does is it gives you a whole iframe for that video to safely sit in. Um, if you're on any website other than YouTube, like say Vimeo, you definitely want to do it this way. Um, but because we're on YouTube and WordPress and YouTube play nicely together, we are able to just copy this link and get back to the page and get to the picture. Here's the thing, it's not a picture, it's a video. Close that. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this little gray box by hitting the delete, keep this trash can, and add a different kind of a box. I'm going to add a video box. So this is the sample video that's in there um, so that the box isn't empty when you first add it. I can just click the, the gear shift and it wants me to upload the file. I don't want to, I don't have the file. I have a URL. So I'm going to click here, insert from URL. I can paste in that URL right at, at YouTube. It's going to think about that for a minute and then find it. And we're going to insert that. And do, 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 do. don't care, don't care. We don't care about any of that. So now you've got a little video there. And if they want to see it larger, when they click on that, they'll be given the opportunity to see it at YouTube, which would be a larger view. Or they can click on it and just watch it in line right there. So that's kind of fun, huh? Okay, I'm going to save because, again, we've hit a point where what has been changed is complete enough. And it looks like we are on the... Oh, that actually... I have wrong date and time on there. I should not have published that. My apologies. I never did this part over here. I got so excited at the thought of a video. Okay, so we are working on Fantasy. There you are. And this is going to be Friday. Not Fur Day. Although Friday is Fur Day. Well, who am I kidding? Every day is Fur Day around here. The 29th. One, two, zero. West, Chance à la mer, oh, 
Come on, Kelly, you can do better than that. West. Shans a la mer northwest. And that is going to be in Ocean Shores, Washington. And the first day it is from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Which we could actually express as just 12 to 5, but we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm just going to double check over here on the Word doc, make sure I got that right, and all that checks out. So I'm going to hit the green check. Mouse up, mouse up. Okay, there we are. The reason I keep mousing up and down is because when I add that um, edit to click into the left, it makes this window not as wide, which puts it in tablet view. If I wanted to stretch my window even wider, it wouldn't do that. But then my whole vid window wouldn't be in your video capture, which is why we're doing that. Okay. Now I very quickly want to save this because I previously saved it with the wrong information over in this box and that's bad form. The good news is the next two are the exact same thing. They just have different dates and some cases times. So I can clone this twice. Clone or duplicate and again because now I have three Fantasy Ocean Shores Convention Center. I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I believe. So this is going to be Saturday, November 30th. And the hours are also, you know, this one's 10 to 5. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to edit this one, which will be Sunday, December 1st, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Click the green check to save. Double check, double check, double check, boom, boom, boom. And just like that, we have two more events for fantasy. Again, the reason I did these as individuals instead of doubling the dates up is because the hours are different every time and we're covering two months in the dates. And so it's just, it would be confusing to have them all as one event. We have one to go and then you're done. I'm going to click to clone the whole thing here because the next one is at a Moose Lodge that we do not currently ah, have. I'm clicking out of here entirely so that I can get that box and gear ship to show up again. Um, Peninsula Moose Lodge is not currently in our list of gay events. And that is going to be Saturday. Ooh, all caps please. December 7th, the day that shall live in infamy. See what teachers do to kids. It's a great profession. 25915 U Street, in beautiful downtown Ocean Park, Washington. Okay, so it's not downtown, but still. And that's 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. How convenient. Now we just need to get some information on D. Peninsula Moose Lodge. La 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 la. Oh, look, I've been there before. Can you imagine? Okay. Facebook is frequently the best place to find images to, uh, to steal. This is an official page, which makes it kind of interesting. I wish they would come up with their own page. I'd feel better about that. Um, looks like everybody's referencing the same thing here. Because it's an unofficial page, there's no like photo albums or you know the kinds of things that you're used to finding to make it easy to steal <laughs> pictures. So I'm just going to quickly flip through here and see if I can find anything interesting. Oh, there's an interesting picture. Um, let's see, these are all, wow, these are two, two years old. 
Um, hopefully we can get two pictures more apropos of your event. Um, this has to do with that we used a hashtag and we told people whenever you upload pictures, use our hashtag so then they all showed up and got tagged to the Moose Lodge. She was so great. She can be our cat anytime. Hmm, I'm just not finding anything like your event. Let's see if there's anything else going on for the Moose Lodge. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go back to here. Go back to there. TripAdvisor. Oh, maybe this is the Peninsula Moose Lodge. We'll find out. My vision of cheers. That's funny. It is kind of a cheers. It's a great place to get a cheap drink, I'm told. And just verifying this is the Ocean Park. Perfect. Now we have a photo gallery to steal from. Did I say steal? No, I didn't say steal. Okay, it looks like the best image we're going to get is that of the said moose, which, mm, meh. What do they have over here on TripAdvisor? Nothing. Lots of comments, but no photos submitted. So let's go back to the search page. Did it start there? Okay, so we're going to go back to search. Um, this Lodge Ocean Park. Let's try that. <laughs> MapQuest is not notable for having pictures. We are on TripAdvisor. We didn't try Yelp. Uh, then we sort of lose our local stand. And I'm not seeing pictures here. So let's try MapQuest. Maybe they have an outdoor picture. Ta-da! You're pulling from Yelp, etc. So you're not going to have any pictures either. Wow. I wanted more than just a moose. Not just a moose. There's nothing moose about a moose. Well, no, there's nothing just about a moose. Let me try one more time. Moose Lodge Ocean Park. Wow. Let's go straight to the images. I know the Ocean Park Chamber wouldn't mind our using that picture, but I'm pretty sure that is the Irish pub and not the Moose Lodge. Curious to show up there. Oh, I see we're just getting pictures of Ocean Park businesses. <laughs> okay, Vanessa, that's a little wild. Um, hmm. I am kind of surprised that there are not better pictures of our little lodge. So there you go. Again, I'm not going to do an exhaustive search here because um, that's not how you want me spending your money without prior authorization, I don't think. So we're just going to go with... Uh, generic moose logo or this one? Golly. Whose website is this? It is a moose website, so they shouldn't care if we're using a picture of their facility. Um, it's not a great picture. I strongly suggest that you upgrade, but it will hold the place in the meanwhile without offending anyone and by so doing, you won't be spending um, time and money with me researching it. Again, now we have a video that I cloned, and we can't use a video, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to add back an image, which I could go surfing. You know, these are alphabetical. I could just go that way, but I find it easier to just start typing it, and then it shows up. 
and now it should look familiar to you. I'm going to click what should be the picture. Upload files. Select files. I think I called that Peninsula Moose. I'm going to have to clean up my desktop one of these days. Waiting for that blue bar to pop. Come on, kiddos, get off the internet. Go outside and play. It's beautiful outside today. Mm -hmm. I buy the fastest internet available on the peninsula. And I still get this problem every day about this time. Oh, maddening. Okay, sometimes if it hangs up at the very end like this for very long, I go ahead and exit out by clicking the X up here and try it again. Um, because it's still there trying. And then you get a new window that shows you how far it really is. Which frequently isn't as far as you'd hoped. If that doesn't work in another minute or so here, we're just going to um, bypass it. Normally I'd say bypass it, go work on another one and come back to it. Unfortunately, this is our last event, so I just really would like to get it done. The other alternative is to rename the file so that you trick WordPress into thinking you're uploading a different file. We can do that right now. Um, let's go to my desktop. And down to the P's for the Peninsula Moose. And I'm just going to change it to Moose Lodge, which you can see I did there. And X, upload a file. And let me cancel that. Uh, 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 I'm going to select a new file. Let me call it Moose Lodge, wasn't it? Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Open. See if that one gets hung up too. All right, well, you've been through enough repetition on this that I do not need you to um, pay for the internet being hung up. Um, so I wasn't going to have you stay with this, but it looks like it might be clearing. This is telling me that the first one I tried had an upload error. Probably it timed out because the internet was going so slowly, and so it just abandoned ship on that one. It's still making an effort on the second one. We'll give that a second here. Um, but I don't think really there's any surprises for you on how this finishes up. We're going to redo the alt text, maybe the title, um, check everything on the page, click down here in the green save button, and then really the last step that we haven't gone through is simply previewing, you know, going going to the page, exiting the visual builder, and going to the, the page as your customers are going to see it, and make sure that everything cross-checks with your Word document, and is lined up properly and there's no typos and etc ad nauseum I certainly know I'm talking to an editor I don't need to explain all that just one final check um, once you click this green button down here of course everything is live and on the internet so you don't have to do anything else if everything is well if everything's not well you're going to go back into the visual builder which you can kind of see grayed out behind this box um, that's going to time out I can see we would just exit the Visual Builder and uh, go preview, and then if everything's wrong, if something's not right, you'd re-enter the Visual Builder to make whatever edits you need to make. So I won't bore you with that. I will hang on until I can get this image uploaded and do that final checking myself, and then I'll zap you a note to let you know it's done. Let me know if this video helped. Uh, my goal with recording these things is. Uh, to make it easier for you to do stuff DIY on your own. If it's not helpful, um, let me know that because I can actually work a little bit faster when I'm not doing this at the same time and you know, might save you a, a 15 minute block or something. So let me know. Thanks, Jan.